Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Zodiac Legacy Challenge. I know we just posted this, but listen, I'm having fun with this right now, so we're just gonna roll with it because I right now I feel like I need to record something that I'm enjoying. Um, I'm not feeling burnt out, but we're going out of town in a few days and that always like extra stresses me out. So we're just going to play some that I'm having fun with right now. <laughs> um, I was going to originally try to get like a bunch of videos pre-recorded and ready to go for while we're gone. And I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I haven't been feeling the best. My health has been kind of up and down. Um, but we are going to have videos for the rest of this week. Anyway, so it is spooky day currently, <laughs> um, which I kind of forgot about. Cassandra is still here, so I do want to make the most of that. Um, let's build a sand sculpture together. I still need to crack these open as well. Um, but yeah, I just want to play something I'm enjoying at the moment, and this happens to be the one I'm thoroughly enjoying. Um, it's always fun to start, like, a new generation and get that going. She's wearing a maid costume right now. But... Sure. Wait, okay. <gasps> they can do a first kiss already? <gasps> oh my goodness, on spooky day? This is the best day ever. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> this is so cute. Cassandra looks like completely taken off guard, but you know, it's okay. It's okay, it's Cassandra. You will love us. Um, now I believe she's supposed to have a few different boyfriend and girlfriends before she actually settles down. So Cassandra's gonna be one of the first. <laughs> um, not sure who we're gonna settle down with yet. We're gonna roll with the punches and see how it goes. But you know, for right now, I think it's it's nice for her to just be in a fun relationship she's enjoying. You know, they've known each other since high school and all that fun stuff. Um, it's kind of like a little high school sweetheart action going on here, which I think is cute. I'm happy with. Aw, they're really cute. Let's compliment her appearance. Happy spooky day. I don't think anyone's coming to my house for it. Um... <laughs> You would think by now children would have shown up, but maybe they just don't trick or treat at the beach. Oh, did she just give us a rose? Are we on the bachelorette? We can already add- okay. She's gonna be our girlfriend. We'll figure out some reason as to why they break up in the future. She just decided to go watch TV. <laughs> I don't know what it's under, which is a problem. Is under affection? Yes. Ask to be girlfriend. Instead of watching TV. I'm realizing we don't even have, like, a decoration box. Maybe we should get that just to try to, like, get this going. We can do spooky spirit. Oh, they're doing, like, a mistletoe kiss. <laughs> and it, it's, it's Halloween. But they're doing a mistletoe kiss. That, I mean, that's fine. Um, uh, again, I never remember. I guess it would be on the small stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We found it. Also, my work keeps like bleeping me. So if I, if you see me looking back to down on my phone, it's just my work. Um, uh -huh. She's like, yeah, I love this holiday. I don't have a decoration box, so my house. Oh, oh, Cassandra, the romantic here. It's cute. I'm not against it. That is adorable. Caden's like, yeah. Again, she is a Pisces, and Pisces can be very flirty and stuff like that. My other half is it Pisces. <laughs> they can be a little bit heads in, head in the cloudy. Um, at least mine is. Oh, she's jealous. I totally forgot that she's jealous. Did I ever fix her traits? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm just making sure. I was like, wait, did I ever change her to the Pisces traits or not? Um, let's not talk about marriage. Let's blow a kiss instead. Because why not? They can go woohoo in the shower. You know, I'm gonna grab a decoration box, though, because I don't want her, like, holiday thing to fail. Okay, put the holiday box down there. Oh. She's just leaving? Okay, well, I guess bye, Cassandra. That's fine. We don't want to hang out for spooky day. We'll just spend it by ourselves in our little house. We're just gonna put up Halloween decorations. Beautiful. Fabulous. I love it. <laughs> Do we need a paint or anything? I'm not sure. How come that didn't count? I feel like that should have counted, but it, it, it's fine. 
That's totally fine. She's just watching her TV. She's having a grand old time. What I do want to do is try to crack open these rocks and see if we can get anything from them. Um, let's break open and see what we can get now that they've cooled off and she's not going to completely burn herself on them because that would be highly unfortunate. Again, I kind of forgot this was a volcanic thing. Oh, now it completes. All right. She's got some topaz. That's pretty nice. Look at her. She looks like Bonehilda. You can like the outdoors. That works for me. A peach. Look at her getting stuff. We got a lot of stuff from that. Okay. I'm not going to say no. I haven't done that like since this pack came out, I think. So it's kind of nice to see that. Um, She does have work in 10 hours. So I should probably send her to bed. My egg is just glowing up there, but <laughs> let's go ahead and send her to bed. All right, Cadence is awake. Uh, I had her eat some fruit from her inventory because <laughs> she was super hungry. So I'm like, this is probably the easiest thing I can do for her right now. I do, before she goes to work, there is quite a bit of trash over here. So I kind of want her to start helping out with, you know, trying to fix the island. I think that'd be quite nice. Um, just as like a little subplot that we could potentially do. Um, you know, just... She's going to be living here, and I, I haven't fully done the cleanup thing for the beach yet, so I think it would be quite fun. Um, it's going to take her, like, 20 years to get over there, <laughs> I'm realizing. Um, she's probably going to have to go to work first. Um, but we can get a few of them done, right? Are you going to be able to get to this one in time? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, she's going to do it. Good girl. Aw, thanks, Dad. We do need to keep an eye on them. Um... I'm very worried about, you know, them dying at some point. <laughs> I'm terrified of it. All right, you need to get to work. Can you hurry this up? Yeah, you don't need to talk to that dude. Go to work. <laughs> She's like, but I want to chat with everyone. No, just get your booty to work. And then you're going to come home and we'll have more time together. We can go fishing. We can clean this up. Oh, come on. Gosh, we have Harvest Fest tomorrow. It's going to be a whole thing. Um... Kansas boss offers her the chance for extra training. What should she do? Take the training or give the opportunity to co-worker? Take the training. Kansas takes advantage of the offered training and brushes up on necessary work skills. And she got a performance gain. So, uh, in terms of work, you kind of have to look out for yourself. Um, for, like, that type of job, I feel like. You have to do what's best for you. Oh, hi, Finn. There's rumor at my workplace that someone will get a promotion. Should I try to impress my boss to get it? Yeah. Now I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Well, good. I'm glad for that, Finn. It'd be cool if, like, since he does work, um, technically in Solani, that, like, we would see him walking around in his gear. I don't think that's gonna happen, but we are now a watercolor dabbler! Keynes has per been promoted to watercolor dabbler. She'll now make an additional three simoleons per hour for a grand total of 31 simoleons per hour. We got a new easel. That is super fun. Um, how about you come clean this up since we are now home? Oh, she's thinking about her family. That's always nice. Uh, what does she need to do for work? I'm assuming paint. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it says it's done. So we don't really need to worry about it. I should probably paint those so we can start selling and making more money. It'd be kind of cool to do like an art gallery type thing. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to like look into it and see what I can do with that. Because that could be quite fun just to do like an art gallery type of situation for her. Where she can display all of her stuff when she starts getting really good at it. Because so obviously right now she's not great. Oh, there's dolphins. I can't... Can I talk to them? I do want her to talk to the dolphins at some point. But right now we're cleaning stuff up. It's a good time. Again, I really want to see what the island will look like once we clean it up enough. I know you can get like the turtles and such. What's the matter with you? Creative fuck. You're already in a burnout? Girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go, go get seashells. Oh, she's like already distracted. Like, mm, no, I don't know if I want to paint anymore, but you got to paint. So it's going to happen. Hate to break it to you. Um, she should not have work tomorrow because it is Harvest Fest. This is our like first Harvest Fest in our little house. Maybe we can have the family over. We don't have enough room. I'm realizing we don't really even have like a table. <laughs> we, hmm. We're, we'll invite them all over anyway, and we'll see what happens. I, I'll have her, you know, cook a grand meal and stuff. It probably won't be any good, but 
we can try <laughs> and hope for the best. I guess she's just painting on her own right now. Just in her swimsuit. But this is kind of like the life I wanted for her. You know, just being near the ocean and painting all the time. I feel like this is definitely suiting her and her needs here. We'll obviously also invite over Cassandra. Because that would be quite cool. What I also want to do... Um, I'll have to probably go back and do it with her mom is have them start like, I'm just going to sell it. Um, the heirloom box. I think that would be quite nice. Oh, look at our easel. Should we just have like a room full of easels and she can just pick which one she wants? I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> because why not? All right. Are you tired at all? Are you good? She's mostly good. I don't know what you're eating there, girl, but... Why don't you go take a shower and then you can go to bed and then we will do a harvest fest and it'll be a great time. Should we have her turn into a mermaid? I'm wondering because like I have the shell. But also it might be a pain in the butt. I'm not sure what how I feel about it. Because then we're going to inevitably pass on that trait and it might be annoying. But we're just going to have her go to bed for now. We're not going to worry about it. I'm getting sidetracked. So it is officially harvest fest. We are going to invite our family. There's Morgan. Let's invite Jeb as well. Can I not invite their baby? I guess I'm just leaving the kid at home. <laughs> I do want to go check on the baby soon though at some point um, just to see like how old she is and all that fun stuff. So we will do a check and maybe at the end of this episode we'll go and check in on the baby um, and see how that's coming along. Oh gosh. We got gnomes everywhere. Oh hi Finn. Wait is that considered our front door? It totally is. That's our front door. I'm sorry. Oh, why is our brother upset? That's not- that's not allowed. You can- you can come cook with me. Oh my gosh, are they all just knocking at this door? Guys, it's up here. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize <laughs> that it was set to that door. That's so awkward. I'm making breakfast. Hi, mom. Oh, I'm missing Melody. Let's share our melancholy thoughts. Uh, yeah, you can like cooking. Um, but let's call everyone to the grand meal. So we can all just have a nice little Harvest Fest breakfast together. It's gonna be a good time. Oh, and there's Jeb with his bag on his head. Where's Jude? Oh, gosh. Oh, oh dear. Are you guys okay? Why are you in there, Jeb? Guys, go upstairs. We live up here. <laughs> Um, at some point, I'm gonna have to, like, expand the house. Obviously, I made it pretty simple for now. Um, because, you know, it's just her for now. Eventually, she will have children, though, so I'll probably have to expand it or maybe move to a different lot. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> we'll see what happens in that, in that regard. Look at them all just having a nice time. We're just gonna talk to mom. Um, we're gonna be thankful to her because we love having mom around. We're gonna enjoy her company. Mom, have you met my girlfriend? I know you knew her in in high school, but like, she's here now. I should also just give Cassandra residence keys. Oh. Wait, how old are you now? I don't, I don't know if I want to know. He has two in-game days left. Um, which means we might lose him on Saturday. She's not even. An elder yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. What? Are you guys having a fight already? What is happening here? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Whatever. I'm more frustrated by the fact that Jude is going to be just gone. Dude, Melody's just going to be living there. What is your problem? Melody. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Man. So Saturday in game, we are going to spend time with Jude. In the next few days in game, we're going to try our best to spend as much time with him as possible because now I'm just terrified he's just going to die on me. <laughs> That's so sad. Okay, so now you're in a good mood. All right. I guess that works. Who didn't eat this? I don't know, but I'm putting it in the fridge. There's just gnomes all over my house. I don't really want to do planting too much with her. Because we've done it like in every LP because I really like doing it. But I don't, I don't want to do it too much. Um, let's go ahead and talk about cooking. 
What? You can't just go over there and talk to your dad? Here, have a deep conversation. Just chat with him. It's not that big of a deal. Discuss color theory. Yeah, my favorite. Vin's just chatting up with Cassandra. I'm really- wait, did- did his wife not come? Where is she? I don't even see her. Like, maybe she stayed home with the baby. That's probably a likely situation here. But like I said, I do- I'm probably gonna go check on the baby. Um, just to see if she's grown up or not yet. It has been a few days and we are on short lifespan, so she might be an infant now. Not sure, but the next few days, regardless, we are gonna be over at their house with Jude and trying to spend as much time with him as possible. She's enjoying the independence of living, alo living alone, but at the same time she misses her family because she's super family oriented. I mean, you know, she's been with them her whole life, so not being around them kind of sucks. <laughs> it's gossip with Melody. He's just chatting it up with Cassandra. It's a good time. Oh yes, I want her to be close with her dad. That's making me like really sad. We're gonna lose Jude soon. And I don't know how to feel about it. I'm not gonna handle it very well, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I'm not gonna handle it well at all. So this is little Miss Elizabeth. I had to go into creative sim because she wasn't showing up on the lot. Like the little blanket was there, but she was nowhere to be seen. Um, so to see her, I had to pull her into cast. Um, but she's so cute. I can't add a skin pack because we're not in like full edit mode, but look at her. She got her mama's red hair. She is so... <gasps> I've been waiting to use this onesie. Oh my gosh. That's the winner. That is indeed the winner. But this is Miss Elizabeth. So this is Cadence's niece and her big brother Finn's little baby girl. She looks so freaking cute. I can't stand it. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this part here before I get too carried away. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.